the agency wants to get hired or the employee wants to get hired and you want the problem solved. That is the recipe for bad hiring. How do I get there? How do I change my mindset? Because it sounds like, and I've seen this a lot and I've seen this in, in myself. Sometimes I just tell myself, I don't know how to hire. I give up. Yes. I'm gonna make I'm not I'm gonna make a mistake again. Yes. So I'm there's different reactions to it. There's the people who I feel like blame the agency or the person that they try yes. to hire for not living up to the expectations. Mm -hmm. And then the ones who feel defeated and almost give up on hiring. Um, or they just go like with what you said, I'll hire four people and hope one sticks. <laughs> so from the mindset standpoint. From the moment that you decide, I need to hire help with this, until the day that that help is in your office helping you, that period of time is uncomfortable, right? You realize you have a need and that that need is costing you money, and yet you haven't yet filled that need. And that uncomfortable time in between those two decisions um, is I think the source of a lot of our bad behavior in hiring. We wanna shorten that up. We want that help right now. And hiring, the process of hiring takes time. The, the old adage is fire fast, hire slow, right? And so that means that that time that we're gonna have that uncomfortable feeling is going to be a while. And if you're a, if you're a, a, a business owner, if you run your own business and you fired that last person that wasn't performing, now you've got your job and their job and the job of doing hiring to do all at once. And so it's this painful process where I, you really do, you have too much to do. And so you want to get it done fast. The problem with getting it done fast is as each candidate comes in, you're thinking, can they solve my problem? Is this the, is this the one? Is this the one that's going to work? And so we're looking at each person looking for the ways that they're signaling us that they're the right person. And the hiring, the person who's there to be hired is trying to give off all those signals, right? And so we're colluding together with the candidate or with the agency to mutually deceive ourselves into thinking this is going to work because the agency wants to get hired or the employee wants to get hired and you want the problem solved. That is the recipe for bad hiring. A different way to do that would be to say, okay, as each candidate or as, as each agency comes in, I need to stand back and I need to look at these people critically and say, can they really solve the need that I want solved? And, and that means I'm not rushing to a solution. I'm actually taking my time to really evaluate, can they do this? So that's the mindset switch that I think makes a big difference going from can they do it? Can they do it? Can they do it? To, I don't know. Can they do it? What are the signals that are telling me that this might not work out? Does that make sense? Yeah. And so what you're saying is that it's okay to be unsure. Yes, absolutely. And that actually, in fact, forcing ourselves to feel sure may put us in some somewhat of a mental trap. Yes. And in fact, uh, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, but I, I recommend really long interviews. And one of my mm -hmm. clients was like, man, this long interview thing, Brad, it takes forever, but it's such a journey. Like that last person in the first five minutes, I loved him. And then 20 minutes into it, I thought this guy's never going to make it. And then an hour into it, I thought, oh, I see, maybe there's some pluses and minuses here, right? That's where we need to get to, right? Both the, he's for sure the right person and the he's for sure not the right person. Those are us rushing to absolutes, to judgment. If we can get to that point, we're like, okay, I see the strengths and weaknesses here. We're more likely to make a good hire. I never thought of hiring as a journey, but when you think about it, your relationship with the agency or the, the employee is gonna be a journey. Oh, for sure. So by forcing it to, for, by forcing them to prove themselves to us in those fi first five minutes, we're losing sight of the fact that they're not going to be with us for just five minutes or always <laughs> that person that they were during those five minutes. Last night, I was talking to a client who does web design. That's their primary uh, service offering. 
And they said, when we get a new client, we know that we're going to be working with these people for three to nine years. That's the length of client engagements. There are marriages shorter than that, right? And so like the idea that you're going to hire someone that you're going to work with for nearly a decade in a 15 minute phone call or even an hour presentation, like if, if one of your friends was getting married after meeting somebody for an hour, wouldn't you be like, no, 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 this is not a good idea. <laughs>